Good morning first, this is Naeem Aslam, Chief Market Analyst at Abitrade. I'm back with an update on coronavirus and its influence on financial markets. Sadly, this series of coronavirus update is coming to an end, but there is a positive end to this because now we have passed the peak of coronavirus infection rate, not only in the United States, but also in the UK, in Europe, and of course in Asia as well. So this is certainly a positive news. The going, going forward, focus is going to be how much of an impact this coronavirus has really made on the economic global economic growth. Because if we look at the economic numbers, for instance, the US NFB number, which came out last Friday, it was really an eye-watering eye -watering number. And guess what? This isn't really going to get better anytime soon. We are still anticipating for the economic data to remain weak, to continue to print bad and numbers which will produce a lot of flashing headlines. So for investors and traders, they need to make sure that they are not only filtering out noise which with respect to the economic numbers which we all know they are expected to continue to move to the downside continue to bring much much weaker reading but it is the next momentum to the upside which really matters for the market from here onwards that's all for today folks it has been a pleasure to be with you guys and provide you daily update on coronavirus we hope that this infection rate stays lower and the fear or the concerns with respect to the second wave of coronavirus never becomes this dramatic, this much drastic for the economy and what we have seen now. But now, economy, all the governments with respect to monetary and fiscal, uh, fiscal and monetary policies, they are all trying to put the economic growth back on track and a large number of countries have already ease down their lockdown measures. That's all. See you guys next time.